friends. Once there lived a hare in the jungle. She thought that she was very famous among all the animals. One day, the hare heard that the dogs were out hunting for her, but she was confident that her friends would save her. So she went to the horse and asked him to carry her away on his back, but he declined. She then asked the bull, but the bull refused. I am very sorry, but I have an appointment with a doctor. She went to the sheep with her problem. The sheep said, "Another time, my dear friend, I do not want to interfere in the present situation, as dogs have been known to eat sheep as well as hares." The hare then asked the calf, as a last hope. The calf regretted and did not take the responsibility upon himself. He was also scared, as many older animals than himself had declined to help. By this time, the dogs were quite near, and the disappointed hare took to her heels and luckily escaped on her own. The two parrots. Once upon a time, there lived a parrot in a forest with his brother. Both lived happily together, hunting and singing. One day, King Lion's minister, Mr. Wolf, caught these parrots and took them to the lion's court. He said to the king, "O oh king, I have brought this beautiful pair of parrots especially for you." The lion was very happy. He kept both the parrots in a cage and ordered his servants to look after them well. The parrots were happy. One day, Mr. Wolf brought a black monkey and presented it to the king. The lion was amused to see the monkey's activities. Soon, the monkey became the center of attraction. With the arrival of the monkey, the parrots were neglected, but they did not lose hope. They knew. that one day they would gain attention again one day the monkey scared the lion prince when the king lion came to know about it he ordered his soldiers to leave the monkey back in the forest and the parrots were treated well again the flying frog during the rainy season the savanna is covered with green grass faraji the frog croaked and leapt from rock to rock just then the ground began to shake what could it be faraji wondered jilani an elephant stepped into the rushing waters and plopped down on his bottom the impact blew faraji away what was that shouted faraji jilani said do you want to fly sit on my trunk and i will make you fly oh all right but only once faraji said jalani took a deep breath here you go and he blew as hard as he could the frog went flying through the air you blew too hard faraji shouted as he fell with his back against the tree that is enough flying for today jalani sat in the water filled his trunk with water and blew it into the air Happy that Faraji was finished with his games, but Faraji hopped over to a lily pad and sat quietly for the rest of the day, rejoicing his flight. The generous rabbit. Once the rabbit built a fantastic warren. He designed it so well. that even a flood that destroyed the entire forest could not harm his warren soon one after another the homeless animals came to his door asking if they could spend the winter with him in his warren he provided shelter to all the animals one day in spring when all the animals had returned to their old homes the rabbit was hopping along so absent mindedly that he did not realize that a lynx was lying in wait for him one of the animals who had spent the winter in the rabbit's warren saw this and warned him just in time asking him to take shelter quickly in his home the lynx destroyed that home but soon other animals in the jungle whom the rabbit had helped in the winter provided him 
with a shelter to hide. This way, the rabbit's life was saved in return for his own generosity to others. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.